I'm Pettis Reed. I've lived here uh, going on 72 years. I was born in 1948 in a uh, community uh, west of here uh, called Versailles. That's uh, where my family come from. I was born out there in a log house. No, I'm not Abraham Lincoln, but that is exactly where I was born in my uh, great-great-grandfather's house in the bedroom that he was born in. So uh, my love for history actually comes from I guess that farm out there, uh, you know, uh, I was born out there in a cotton field, but that's where I've lived. Uh, I still live out that way. I still live on that same road that I was born on. So Rutherford County is very dear to my heart, my family. My family originated here in 1802. They come here from Virginia and uh, they unhitched the team out there where I live today. So that's my importance and why I like Rutherford County. I serve on the Rutherford County Commission and something that I always wanted to do is to give back to Rutherford County. All these years I felt like I have taken by getting my schooling here, my education here, uh, my family has lived here all this time. I said I wanted to give something back and want to be a servant to the community. So by being a county commission I look for ways to give back to the community and in a historical manner one way I wanted to give back is there's some way we could preserve some of the things that we have here. And one thing that we have done is uh, making historical buildings some way that we could give it back in a tax break. And we have done that. And this is something that, uh, in fact, I was one that brought it up through steering. I, I helped to make the motion on that. We brought it up through the county commission. It's been approved. And now through a, uh, uh, a tax uh, rebatement uh, that we give there, that we can uh, take care of that for people to um, have the opportunity to go ahead and restore some of these buildings and not cost them hardly as much. I brought with me today a spelling board. This is from 1917. This was a board that uh, students used to learn how to spell. The letters slide around, they would go across. You know, in the modern day, students today, I think, use what they call a speaking spell, but this was the old ones from the 1917. It was made by Foxy Toys and uh, it's something that we're going to take or that I'm going to take and we're going to put it into the museum here at Ransom House so people can see some of the toys, some of the educational toys that we had back in 1917.